Hello, friends. Happy Wednesday. Oh, boy, has it been a day. Uh, work has been crazy today. You see, I'm all dressed up. That only happens when I've been working right up to the end. Uh, yeah, it's been pretty much a solid eight hours uh, strapped to the computer with headphones on for various meetings. Got my Wednesday basket pipe here, and I'm smoking some Four Noggins Weybridge. It's been a Carter Hall haunted bookshop day up until now, and I thought, hey, let's do something different. So before we get too deep into ramble mode, um, got an update for you from uh, our buddy Kilted Piper Steve. Uh, Miss Kathy underwent surgery this morning for a pacemaker implant, and she's doing well. Uh, Steve said they're going to keep her in overnight for observation, and he's hoping that she'll be able to go home tomorrow. So very good news. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to hear that she made it through that fine. I hope that Steve made it through it fine. I know it's probably equally stressful if not more stressful for him, you know, when you're when you're the person getting the procedure. Not to make light of it, but you get to go to sleep for a little while and you wake up and it's over, whereas the the person waiting is waiting. Uh anyway, I'm really happy that, that uh Kathy is, is doing well and can't wait to see her back in action again. So I'm sure Steve would say this thank you all for the prayers that you've sent out for him and, and the good thoughts and all that so far and he's told me how grateful he is uh let's continue to do that as as kathy goes through her recovery mm, I, I like this waybridge but i've talked about that enough so what are we going to talk about um well let's do a little advertising this friday night we've got andrew sirgliano on uh I hope I got the name right, Andrew. Uh, Andrew's a, a great YTPC guy, very much interested in, in uh, fishing. Uh, not not a type of fishing that I'm all that familiar with, so I'm looking forward to talking about that some. And uh, I, I think Andrew does a lot of salt water. I do a lot of fresh water, but we'll see. Anyway, I know a lot of you guys know Andrew, and uh, I hope you'll tune in on Friday night to... Uh, to say hello and, and to get to know him a bit better. Ah, got some got some waybridge coming through the through the pipe there. That's good. So uh, like I said, I've been I've just been unbelievably busy. But life is like that. We've got more snow coming in. I was happy because yesterday we were supposed to be covered in ice and it never happened. So maybe they'll be wrong about, you know, actually yesterday, I shouldn't say this because I know some of our friends, especially in the South and, you know, places like Texas and even out to Arkansas, Oklahoma are, you know, really experiencing some unusual cold. Um, it was 42 here yesterday. It was a beautiful sunny day. It was supposed to, we were supposed to have all these ice storms and, you know, don't leave your house. It's going to be terrible. And I woke up and it was beautiful sunshine. And I'm glad when they get it wrong that way. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. We're in good shape. Uh, you know, got everything we need and not worried about it. But it's annoying. I've been thinking since the, the last video, the last uh, Wednesday ramble, which was actually a Thursday ramble. You're used to that kind of thing by now. I was thinking about um, this concept of mindfulness and living in the present moment that I brought up. And I had said uh, that that quote that I got from Northwest Pipe Smoker, 
Uh, the past is, is just a memory, and the future is just a plan. So all you have is the present. And I was thinking about that, the past part of that, and, and the idea of regrets. And this came to me a couple different ways this week. One, I was, I was talking to a friend about um, sort of major life decisions, you know, things that you, you decide to do that sort of set the course of your life one way or the other. And I was talking to my wife about job decisions. And, you know, in a sense, we both had moments where, you know, we met at work. And she was in, I don't know if you're allowed to say secretarial anymore, administrative assistant roles. And I was a scientist. So the odds of us actually meeting are not great unless we just happen to both wind up in the same place at the same time. So little decisions well maybe they're not little but they can change the whole course of your life and then you think about that you now you think about how unlikely it is that you're even here given whatever story your parents might have had in order for them to meet or whatever story their parents might have had in order for them to meet You know, we're, we're a miracle that we exist. So what does that have to do with regrets? Well, I was thinking in particular about this, this career path decision thing. And I, I don't want to get too much into it, not because I don't want to tell the story. I will tell the story at some point. But it's, it's a long, complicated story, and I just, just want to sort of breeze across the surface of it. So... Let's just say I had an opportunity to go in a very different direction than I wound up going. And I did not. And it involved a woman who I was actually engaged to at the time, who's not my wife, and her family and things that they thought were best for me. This was back when I was in college. And I decided to go in the direction that I thought was best for me and it, you know I wound up where I am and I was thinking about this and I thought you know how different would my life be if I had if I had done that and do I in any way regret that and you know the answer is no the answer is very clearly no but I do wonder about some of it you know I do wonder about certain aspects of it like you know what would that career have looked like where would I be at in that career versus where I'm at in my present career. So I guess you could say I, I, I regret not getting to find those things out. But it got me thinking about regrets in general and you know how much how often we we say oh I should have gone and taken that course or I should have I should have taken that job when it was offered to me instead I took this one. Well if you look at yourself right now in the present moment are you happy? Are you generally happy? You know, not a static, not, you know, but everything's okay, right? That's how I am. Everything's okay. I'm happy. Got a, a loving wife, uh, house over my head, food to eat, friends, uh, both real and virtual. And some of the virtual friends are more real than the real friends are. So this is all pretty good, you know? So why would I regret a past decision? Because the past decision, if I went in the other direction, I wouldn't be sitting here right now talking to you. And that could be true of any decision. You know, these, these little things change the course of our life. Oh, I should have gone to that sale and bought this thing. You know I wouldn't do that, but there are people that would say that, right? Well, what if on the way to that sale, your car skids off the road and you have a life-altering injury or, God forbid, die? You know, but don't know. Every, everything we do involves some risk and it involves some 
change to the, the course that our, that our life is taking. That doesn't mean we shouldn't take risks, and it doesn't mean we shouldn't do things. But it means when we decide not to do them, we shouldn't sit around the next day and say, oh, if only I had done that. Because it may not have been what you think it might have been. And if you're happy with where you're at right now, that's all that really matters. So how do you get happy with where you're at right now? Well, that's a, that's that's not a topic I'm willing to tackle. I, I think a lot of it has to do with recognizing that where you are right now is all you have, not looking to the past, not relying too much on the future. You want to plan, but you don't want to put your happiness in the future. Because you'll never get there. Happiness, like so many things in life, is, can be elusive, can be temporary, can be fleeting. And no one walks around 24-7 saying, I'm happy. We all have challenges in our life. But I guess if at the end of the day you can take an average and you can say I was happy more often than not, and when I go to bed tonight I'm going to be content, that's about all you could ask for. Well, guys, my work day is over, but... Uh, I still have a lot to do, so I'm going to finish up this way bridge and move on to the next thing. I hope you're all having a great uh, week so far, and I wish you all the best in the week ahead. Please join us Friday night for Andrew Sirgliano. Uh, really looking forward to it, and I hope to see you there. So until then, take care, and we'll talk soon. Bye now.